Successful man who helped soldiers liberate concentration camps says he never felt like he was part of the greatest generation. That's because he never received the medals he earned from serving in World War II. But his family was able to fix that with a special surprise. LAX 18's Connor McHugh has the story. 94-year-old Roscoe Kerr Jr. is the official photographer at this assisted living home. He's taking pictures of his daughter, but there is something going on here that he doesn't know about. You're going to get him today. He doesn't know that his son-in-law, a retired teacher, has been working to fix a 75-year-old problem with Roscoe's war record. And he talked about how he never got his medals. And being a former teacher, I read nonverbals very well. And I can see in his eyes hurt. And I said, I got to start this. Roscoe Kerr served with the 28th Medical Depot Company in Europe. He helped with the unit's physical and emotional wounds after liberating concentration camps. But he was in a crash that put him in the hospital before he was discharged. His son-in-law wrote a letter to the Department of Defense, but there was a big problem. Of the fire, all of his records were burned up in the fire. A fire in 1973 in St. Louis destroyed almost every record of Roscoe's service. But then his family found his last military pay stub, and that was enough to prove that Roscoe had earned the same distinctions as other vets. The records and all that, I thought never would catch up with me. He was awarded a World War II Victory Medal and a Bronze Star Attachment. Uh, it's my honor to present you the medals that you deserve from your service. Covering the news in Louisville, Connor McHugh, LEX 18 News. Wish we could give a Boy, what a story. Innovation. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Yeah.